welcome back to another video. I am packing up my kitchen right now because tomorrow they are demolishing it. Now, if this is your first time here, I wanna just welcome you to this channel. My name is Tia. I would love to see you stick around because here, I love to show you how you can live and thrive eating a whole food plant-based diet really easy. And now, I'm gonna show you how you could even do it without a kitchen, okay? So if I can do it, you can for sure do it. Make sure if that sounds good to you, you stick around. Check out this video. I have so many other videos, tips and tricks. I even share with you how I was able to lose up to 50 pounds of body weight um, easily, sustainably eating this way. So yeah, I'd love to see you here uh, with everybody else. know how I'm gonna be doing this video all I know is that I am packing up the kitchen right now you gonna help me pack up the kitchen Probably. okay you better um, we're gonna be packing up the kitchen and I was saying packing up I'm gonna be packing up the kitchen definitely making myself some overnight oats for tomorrow I'll show you how I do that really easy thinking about what's gonna be for lunch and dinner tomorrow I'm gonna take this one day at a time right because if I think of this like the next two three months what am I gonna do? It's very overwhelming. And you can probably relate that to something in your life when it comes to eating healthy. Like if you're really feeling overwhelmed with the thought of adopting a new whole food plant-based diet, like that can be really overwhelming, right? Because we think of the future, we think of one, two, three months from now, and we can feel like it's too much, but taking it one day at a time, being consistent with little habits is, is gonna get you to your goal. And so I'm using that approach with this as well, right? I'm just one day at a time. So I'm thinking about tomorrow, I'm making sure I have groceries for the week to make easy things, um, and it's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. So I am not packing these three jars. I'm actually gonna make overnight oats for the next three days and just keep them in the refrigerator. For road trips, I do three overnight oats at a time. I think by the time I get to the third day, they're still pretty good and that works for me. So even um, in this situation, I'm gonna be doing three overnight oats so I don't have to worry about breakfast for the next three days. Okay, so for the overnight oats, I decided to make mango because I'm just kind of obsessed with mango right now um, and chocolate cherry. And all I need is some milk, some maple syrup, a um, couple tablespoons of unsweet cocoa powder, frozen fruit, and then we need oats. Where are the oats? Um, okay, so we're gonna just put our overnight, overnight oats in there. I do about three-fourths of a cup, um, like if I'm home. If I'm on a road trip, like when we go to Colorado, and I know I'm like really active, and I'm, oh man, this is a disaster with one hand. Hold on. Okay, I was, I was saying um, like if we're in Colorado, like we usually go every summer and I'm hiking and we're, I'm just being really active, then I usually will put more oats because I know I'm gonna get hungrier. Um, but you know, being at home, I'll probably be stuffed with this amount. And just something that I want to add to, because um, I remember I would do this when I was really wanting to get healthy and even lose weight, is I would see some of the influencers I would watch on YouTube, I would see like how much they were eating and I would eat that exact amount. And I just want to, you know, say that's not always the best. You have to do what's best for you, right? Everybody weighs a different amount and requires a different amount of calories. And so you might need a cup of oats. You might only need a half a cup of oats. So this is something you wanna kind of feel out. Um, listen to your hunger cues, you know, when you eat, don't make yourself eat a whole thing of overnight oats um, if you're not hungry, right? Like stop when you're full and that way you'll be able to know, you'll start to figure out at least like how much you should be eating. Um, anyway, I just wanted to add that, like just cause I'm eating this much oats or sometimes I eat a cup or a cup and a half when I'm on, you know, hiking and stuff, that doesn't mean that's what you need to eat, right? So anyway, just passing that on.
right, ready to go. A telltale sign that you're in your 40s. Show me what you got. Got some Dr. Scholl's uh, <laughs> inserts uh -huh. for the old shoes and uh, some icy hot patches for okay. the... Uh, <laughs> and what's that for? Back. Uh, wherever I can put it, really. Because you play baseball? In the old fart league. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I decided to kind of write out, not kind of, I did, like a little menu of what I'm gonna be eating for the week. Um, now my family will eat this as well. Lunch is just like sandwiches for them or something easy. They, you know, it's not that big of a deal for them to eat out of the house every now and then. For me, it is because I watch my oil intake. So I just make sure I am extremely organized with what I'm eating. And then obviously like they can have whatever I'm eating. Um, but a lot of times like they'll have whatever we're having for dinner and breakfast too and then lunch will be um, like an easy sandwich or you know something out of the house but for breakfast i plan on doing overnight oats and grits y'all know i love my grits um I'll, I'll probably do some spinach with that sauteed spinach lunch this week i'm gonna do those mcdougal soups um i'll show you guys those over some broccoli or a veggie sandwich um so i just do ezekiel bread with avocado and lettuce and tomato and uh, maybe a little hummus and then for dinner I plan on making my red beans and rice and my lentil marinara and I will link um, these recipes this for you and um, you saw me do the overnight oats let me show y'all I use just just this Ezekiel bread the um, McDougal soups um, and ramen I usually get. It looks like I'm out of ramen, so we might have to just revert to black beans with a side of broccoli, which is totally fine with me. These keep me so full. But yeah, I'll probably just go get some of the ramen and then have that. I love to do that over broccoli. It's delicious. And then any other veggies I want, um, but I'll for sure have these with a side of veggies too. So I've decided to have like my own box to go under the folded table in the laundry room pantry um, of all the stuff I'll need this week. So obviously I need to go to the store and buy more rolled oats, but I got everything in there to make red beans and rice. I got my McDougal things. Can't live without nutritional yeast, right? I have lentils for lentil marinara, um, the marinara sauce, the oil-free marinara sauce, my Bob's Red Mill corn grits. I also have um, Peanut butter, because the kids love apples and peanut butter. I keep all of our fresh produce in the refrigerator. I know, maybe I'm not supposed to do that, but I do it. Um, and then I have these for the family too, if they would like these. So I think that's good. So I'm gonna keep this box where I can easily grab it um, underneath the table, and I will show you the table right now. Okay, so in here is my new I don't want to say laundry room, but it is. Just right here is like laundry. <laughs> and um, mostly pantry. Very excited about this. In the next maybe two weeks, we're going to have um, not really full, uh, ceiling to floor, but close to here. You know, maybe at this point where the ceiling meets the wall. Um, we're going to have shelves from wall to wall. And then we're going to have underneath these windows... Um, like just cabinetry with pull-out drawers. I'm so excited. And we're gonna have like something that kinda in the corner that hides all that. We can have access to it, but hides the dryer stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna have pull-out drawers to put like all the, the platters and things that I don't use on a daily basis in the kitchen are gonna go in here. But as of right now, this is what we're working with. So I have a fold-out table. Here's the box I was just showing you. I kind of moved some stuff over here. I'll probably get the kids some snacks for this week. We're doing paper and plastic. I know, not, not a great idea, but we don't have a sink. So this is gonna have to do for now. We're using this Brita filter to have um, clean, you know, somewhat filtered water. We typically have like a water spout with a filter we have underneath the sink, um, which is where we get our water from. But right now this is gonna, this can be just fine. I have my little Ninja Blender. I love this thing. I usually make cheese sauce in it, protein shakes. It's the perfect size. I don't typically use protein powder. I 
add my own like whole plant food protein in there, but um, we have that in case we need that. We have our handy dandy Instant Pot air fryer, and then I'm gonna go get a toaster later. Ours was so disgusting, and there was, there was like no cleaning it. it. It had to go. It's years and years and years old. So anyway, that is, um, that's what we're working with right now. I'm not gonna really, dinner is gonna be on the stove. We're gonna use our stove one last time. But please make sure you follow along with me over the next couple months, two to three months, because I am gonna be sharing how I am living and eating healthy without a kitchen. So you're not gonna wanna miss it. Also, if you love the idea of 10 minute, five minute meals, you're gonna wanna make sure you check out my latest ebook, 10 Minutes or Less, where I share with you over 100 different easy, I mean, super duper easy recipes that you can make in under 10 minutes. A lot of them are five minute meals. So um, if you are interested in living this way really easy, I would highly recommend checking that out. I also have a handful of other eBooks that you might find helpful. I hope y'all have a great rest of the week and I'll be seeing you really soon. Bye. One. So phase one of this remodel was putting in these windows, which I'm so glad we did. They. There was a wall right here in a bathroom, if you can see, so that all got kind of pushed over. I don't really know how to explain that. This is now like our walk up to the laundry pantry room, which I showed y'all. And then we're getting all new white oak um, flooring. This is the new flooring up here. This used to be one big room. I'll see if I can find a video of what that looked like before. Red walls, it was, it was a sight to see. This is gonna be my husband's office. We're gonna put extra long twin built-ins right here. Just one twin with a pull-out. So guests can stay in there and kids can have slumber parties. <laughs> we added a full bath. We're waiting on the cabinetry to come um, in about one to two weeks. Then we added a shower in here. I still need to buy like a towel hanger and we need to get like that half glass that um, goes right there so you can take showers. And then we have our movie room. We're so, so excited about this. The kids are actually watching a movie right now. This couch right here is um, a cloud couch dupe. I will link it for y'all. It's humongous. humongous and it's so amazing. We had our first movie night last night on it and it was so much fun. Um, we all got to snuggle. I think you could probably fit like three families on this thing. <laughs> So we made one big gigantic room into three rooms, one bedroom, um, this could actually be a bedroom if it ever had to be, and then a full bath. Very excited about that and we can't wait to get started with phase two and that includes um, demolishing the kitchen, fixing those angles, straightening it out, making it bigger. Um, there's some other stuff we're doing and like I said, I'll make sure I put um, like a little panoramic view so you can see a good before, before I show you the after. Mm -hmm.